Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting exponential equation. I'm not exactly sure, but I think this problem is from Romania. I don't remember where I saw this problem, but I think it was from Romania. Anyways, this is a pretty interesting problem. We have x to the power 2x plus x cubed equals x to the power x plus 2 plus x to the power x plus 1. So a very exponential equation. So to be able to solve this problem, we're going to put these terms together and then come up with a quadratic equation. Let me show you how. Notice that we have x to the power 2x and x to the power x plus 2 and x to the power x plus 1. So we can go ahead and do the following. First of all, we can take out an x to the power x here. And that's going to give us x squared plus x. Awesome, right? And then on the left-hand side, I'm not going to do any factoring. But instead, I'm going to go ahead and bring these two things to the left-hand side. I say two things, but it's actually one thing by subtraction. And that's going to give me x to the power 2x minus x squared plus x. I want to write that first times x to the x plus x cubed. So to make it more clear what I mean by this, let me go ahead and use a different color here. Write this as x to the power 2x and write this as x to the power x. Now hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. This is a quadratic equation in x to the power x. See how beautiful that is? Well, there's x's inside the parentheses, but guess what? We're going to pretend they are constants. Can we do that? Absolutely. You can do it, uh, and it works. Usually it does. And sometimes we can even use quadratics that have numbers as variables. We can kind of pretend and invert the process. Anyways, that's a different story. I think we made a video on that one. Black pen, red pen made a video, and then I made a video response. Anyways, let's continue with this. So here's what we're going to do. If you really want to see what is going on here, let's use substitution. Let's replace x to the x with something. How about t? But don't touch the other x's, okay? Just x to the x and x to the 2x, of course. That's what makes this quadratic, right? So this is going to become t squared. So we get t squared minus x squared plus x times t plus x cubed equals 0. Do you see what I mean by quadratic? This is quadratic in t, okay, it's, which is a little manageable. Now, what am I going to do? You can use the quadratic formula or just factor this. If you use the quadratic formula, this is what you're going to get. t equals negative b. By the way, the coefficient of t is b here. Opposite of that is x squared plus x plus minus the square root of b squared. So I got to square this, right? Minus 4ac, which is minus 4x cubed. And then I have to divide the whole thing by 2. Right? Great. Let's go ahead and simplify inside the radical first. What is x squared plus x squared? I can actually do the following. Kind of factor out an x and write this as follows. And then subtract 4x cubed from it, which is going to be a little easier. And just keep the x squared on the outside. And of course, this can be written as 4x squared times x. Now, x squared is a common factor. So we get x plus 1 squared minus, if this is a common factor, yeah, this is just going to be 4x. And this is going to be x squared times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 4x. Uh -huh. That's how I get my perfect square because 2x minus 4x is just going to be negative 2x. And yes, that is a perfect square and it's just perfect. So this is our discriminant or delta if you looked at it carefully. So our delta is x squared times x minus 1 squared. So I can go ahead and square root it very easily. With the plus minus sign, everything will be taken care of. So the t values from here is going to be, again, t was equal to x squared plus x. And then plus minus the square root of delta, which is this, right? So if you square root that, you're going to get, obviously, x times x minus 1. But keep that in parentheses. I don't think we need it because we already have a set of parentheses. Great. And then all of that is divided by 2. Awesome. At this point, we're going to go ahead and 
split it up into two solutions. So T sub 1 is just going to be x squared plus x plus x squared minus x divided by 2. I just distributed the x. And here x cancels out, leaving us with 2x squared divided by 2, which is x squared. So T sub 1 is x squared. Hold on to it because now we're going to find T sub 2. x squared plus x minus x squared minus minus x is going to become a plus x. And then now x squared cancels out and we end up with x. Great. And that's going to be T sub 2. So those are the solutions to the quadratic. What does that mean? What does T mean, right? Where does T come from? What is T? T is x to the power x. Awesome. Let's go ahead and back substitute. T is x to the power x. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is equal to x to the x, and this is equal to x to the x. Make sense? Great. What am I getting from here, right? Well, looks like x to the x equals x squared gives us 2 as a solution, but that's not the only one. To get a better idea, you can go ahead and divide both sides by x squared, and then get 1, and then check all the possibilities. If we're looking for real solutions, which we are, uh, we can go ahead and talk about x being 1, because that would work. x being negative 1 would not work, because negative 1 to the power negative 1 is not going to be a positive 1, right? Uh, negative 1 is not allowed. And then 0 would not work either. But wait a minute, the exponent can be 0, and that would give us x equals 2. So from here we get two solutions, 1 and 2. Make sense? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second t. So these are the two values that I got from here. And with the x to the x equals x, I can do the same thing, x to the power x minus 1 equals 1. From here, x can be 1 again, but that wouldn't really add anything to the set. Uh, can x be negative 1? Yes, if the exponent is even. Notice that if x is negative 1, we're getting negative 1 to the power negative 2, which is actually a positive 1, because this is 1 over negative 1 squared, which is 1. Make sense? So negative 1 also counts. And can the exponent be 0? Yes, but that would only give us one, one more time. We don't really need it for the third time. Therefore, looks like we got three solutions, right? x equals 1, x equals negative 1, and x equals 2. We should have three solutions. Let's go ahead and list them. And now we're going to be looking at what Wolfram Alpha gave us. But let me tell you something before we finish this video. You could also use factoring to solve this problem if you did not want to go with the quadratic formula. Obviously, the quadratic formula is uh, safer in most cases. If you can't see the way it's factored, it could be a little hard. But here's the thing. We got to find two numbers whose product is x cubed and whose sum is the opposite of negative x squared, uh, the opposite of x squared plus x. And those factors you're looking for are negative x squared and negative x. Notice that their sum is this and their product is that. So we can basically factor this as t minus x squared and t minus x equals 0, which gives us t equals x squared and t equals x as before. Remember, those were the t values we used, uh, we found by using the quadratic formula. And then you can kind of replace t with x to the x and get the same solutions. Make sense? I hope it does. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the results from Wolfram Alpha. So those are going to be the solutions, I think. And we're from alpha. Ooh, we got a graph too. Nice. You don't see the second point of intersection, but notice that one of them is visible, 1, 2, and the other one is going to be 2, 24. Wow, that's a large value. But what about the negative one? Unfortunately, we can't graph it for the negative values because they just jump around too much. But here's the integer solutions by Wolfram Alpha, which has been verified. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.